I say here today, very loud and clear, that four of five hybrids do not fit to these growing conditions here in the Baltics. Again, four of five hybrids do not fit to these growing conditions here in the Baltics. Why? When we look outside to the fields, we could see now here in the last two years that more and more this struggling of innovative, high-performing hybrids with these winter conditions here in Lithuania, Latvia and also in Estonia. What is the reason that our most beautiful looking rapeseed before winter is then suffering most after winter? When we look back to one of the last strongest European winters, 2015-16, we could see with this old generation of Atora, Kuga, we had very yeah, reliable hybrids. These hybrids perform with a really strong overwintering and then finally with high yield. So what is the reason now that we are not able to repeat this, uh, this uh, performance? I would like to invite you for a small step back in 2018. I have shown you already that with this launch of this new genetics, with this turnip yellow virus resistance material, we made a big comeback in the yield. Additionally, we could also recognize that we have further benefits, stronger growth before winter, better root system, higher nitrogen uptake already in the autumn time. We, uh, we have a higher stress tolerance then based on this better establishment in, in springtime. And, yeah, of course, 10% more yield. I think it's clear that everyone wants to benefit from 10% more yield. So, not really a big surprise that farmers in France, Germany, Poland, yeah, they jump on that train. We see here the share, the, the acreage of turnip yellow virus resistant material in 1,000 hectares in these countries. Today, this new genetic is somehow already a standard in most of the countries. We see that also more and more here in the Baltics. But again, my point, there is also one uh, fact which is a little bit risky. 10% more growth before winter in comparison to the old genetic. Just a theoretical question, but who adapts his sowing dates according to this new genetic? I would like to share another small story and um, share with you my experience of first experiences with winter killing. It was in April 2022. I was invited to a spring field day in the south of uh, Sweden. It was uh, south from Malmö. And uh, it was 26th of April. And as usual, I start my trips early in the morning, 5 o'clock. I had a beautiful sunrise on the way to Denmark and uh, really looking forward to this uh, spring field day. The spring field day finally started at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. It was beautiful weather, sunshine, and uh, unfortunately I forgot my sun milk. Not the first time, but, but whatever. I enjoyed a lot this uh, very strong uh, variety presentations in the field. We had presentations from uh, Lemma Grain, KWS, DSV, and also myself for the NPZ. And I enjoyed a lot these marketing presentations, especially from the other high, uh, competitors. Turn of Yellow Virus, Nitrogen Efficiency, FOMA, Pot Shattering. Oh, that was great to, to listen to that, because I know very well, okay, nice to know all of that, but finally my old Atura is still the market leader in Sweden, I was thinking. Okay, so I had a lot of fun, 
and uh, with uh, uh, nice, full emotions, I continue my way to the north of uh, Sweden because I have heard there is winter killing. And so I continue in the afternoon my way past this Lake Fettern. Really a big recommendation if you have a chance to go there. It's beautiful there. So I turn the music on, enjoy my time. I was really satisfied and drove another 500 kilometers more north to the city of Örebro. I arrived 11 o'clock in the evening. It was dark already outside. And uh, after 1,000 kilometers driving on that day, participating on a spring field, I just fall down to the bed. Next morning, I left the hotel. I was shocked of a 60 euros parking ticket in, for one night in this city. But then I continue my way and found out, Jesus Christ, what is going on in that area? It was still winter. The rapeseed plants outside from the city were this high, and I, I was thinking, where I am? What is going on here? And then I came to this location in Kumla, where they had a special trial for winter hardiness in Sweden, and where they give me the message, there is winter killing. And ladies and gentlemen, what I have seen then on this place shocked me totally because I couldn't understand what is the problem here that we see some of these old genetics performing. And then when you look to the left, you see this turnip yellow virus candidate totally killed. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't understand it. And so I was thinking, okay, what is the reason here? And that gives me motivation to go deeper and to look in the available data and think, what is the reason? And Hands up, ladies and gentlemen. Who want to know the reason of this problem, of this winter killing? Thank you very much for that feedback. Let's go one step further and have a look to this slide. Here you can see a clear connection, a clear correlation between stronger stem elongation before winter and winter killing. And we can see here very well, especially with this red market turnip yellow virus varieties, as stronger the stem allocation before winter, as higher is then the winter killing. We can see here very well the difference between this old generation of hybrids and these new innovative candidates and newcomers. They could not compete under these conditions. And I want to ask you now again, who adapt his sowing dates according to this new generation of hybrids? I checked for you this uh, database here from Kaunas for the last autumn. And I found out that even the first September delivered more than 860 day degree temperature, which is more than enough for a successful establishment and development before winter. Usually, rapeseed needs 750 to 800 day degrees. Maybe some of you are thinking now, okay, how can I calculate that? It's very easy. You take the average temperature per day, you calculate them together, till the temperature is dropping down for a couple of days below five degrees. And now if you think on your own sowing dates, maybe you can realize that your fields were overgrown and realized much more temperature accumulation than necessary before winter. But ladies and gentlemen, there is further, uh, um, further things uh, which uh, I would like to, to test with you, which I would like to make a small, small game. If, if you maybe take the hands together, cross your fingers, and may you can then see probably that the red dump is on the top. Let's imagine that is showing somehow your standard sewing dates. If you make it now opposite, 
I would like to invite you to test that for you and, and feel this strange feeling when you do it opposite. The same, ladies and gentlemen, is with late sewing dates. I can imagine that for most of you it's probably a very provocating story, but I say clear that is a dominant story for you for the coming years to adapt sewing dates. Otherwise, you will get more and more of such winter killing and struggling and low yield finally, like we have seen now last year and this year again.